Hello. So we're at Exeter Racecourse Car Boots. It's not great weather. It looks a little bit rainy. We'll see what the turnout's like, but you know, we're here, we're up. And um, if we find one thing that makes us happy, then that's good enough for me. Any final words? Um. No. Yeah, me too, mate. Well, oh, you just gate kept that bag, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did, but just like you grabbed them out of my hand, then, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just see what condition they're in. No, I won't get them. <laughs> There's that one there, but it's a bit yeah, good on the front. Nice see? What's that one? Alright, I'll just see what he see what he want. That's alright, my mate's looking at it. Good one, actually. Well. It's alright, I'll start, don't we? Yeah. Three. Five. Six. That one. Eighteen shirts and two scarves, mate. I was just counting for you. Shirts for if I'm doing that, work out four. Yep. Two scarves, eighteen, two scarves. Do sixty in the lot? Sixty everything. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very well, much. I, I appreciate you have a that. Good day. Yeah, Thank you, you too. Much. It was Christmas day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You don't see that very often. Yeah, you don't, mate. You know. Where do you get them from? Are you the, the yours or? I thought so many, and I thought to get out of the car, people would be on them. So. Well, yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. Uh, four, four kids, one's it, mate. Four kids, eight kids. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right, mate. How much are your jeans? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh Levi. Yeah, nice. Well done. Two for seven quid. These ones are that second. Yeah, I'll take those, please. Yeah. Four quid, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. I've got one. Look at that. That's what I found. A little McLaren. There's some good ones in there. Cool. Newcastle shirts. We'll be right. Right, let's go. Oh, is that Elton John there? <laughs> <laughs> Weird, that was the last reference I picked up. Was, was it? Elton John. Yeah, I'll just 
going to grab that conflict classic game one. <laughs> Three quid for four? Just say. Uh, 350. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's a good game, the other time. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a pretty good game. I'm playing out on PS3. Like, I still got some. Jason, how much are you getting on that side? Four pound each, that's a rare one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take them two, please. Yeah, that's a bit of me that I like that one. Quite smooth. Is it a summer use? Honestly, don't know. I think it's cool, isn't it? Like Mexican. It's on. Yeah. You do five on a two for those? Yeah, I do five. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for us though, isn't it? You don't think he's got those more brand new? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> can't, can't be doing with that. But, but for us, for the summer. For us, summer, yeah. Perfect. Little picnics on the go. But I thought Yeah. Who had them? Uh, I thought he bought some stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got a case full of, a case full of cameras. Happy days, aren't Yeah, it? yeah. So I thought he got some stuff. Good stuff. Right, car boot done. We've done all right, considering the size of the car boot. We've done good, haven't we? Yeah, it's really tiny today compared to usual. It's cold, tiny. Cold, windy. Um, people have got a mood on. Yeah, but um, <laughs> we came out with the goods anyway, so but we'll you get did back. Well. Yeah, we'll get back home, and um, we're just going to run to McDonald's. We'll get back home, and then we can go through our treasure trove, can't we? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it'll be a bit warmer. Yeah, get the heater on. So yeah, see you then. Considering the car boot was like touch and go, whether it was going to be on because of the weather, uh, we did all right. So yeah, we was happy with how we did. Yeah, considering I was set my alarm to eight, I didn't get out of bed till 8.45 and we meant to leave at nine. Yeah. We did all right. We did all right yep. for a last minute mad dash. Right, so the first bit of stuff we picked up was all that football gear. So I'm going to fly through all the shirts and stuff that we got. So basically there was this guy, he already grabbed a bag, didn't he? Um, Let's start from the beginning. We're in the queue for the car boot. Yeah, we're in the queue for the car boot, and yeah. it, we did see like one football shirt in the window. Was like, oh, that's cool. It turns out there was a lot of football shirts. Well, we kind of knew that because the guy had like all football memorabilia in his car. Yeah, like well, glasses and stuff. He was more hopeful than me, to be fair. Anyway, there was a small bag on the floor uh, where I grabbed I grabbed the jacket out, the green Northern Ireland jacket, and the guy and some other guy was like, "Oh, I'm looking for you." So I'm, you know what I mean. So I was like, "Oh, whatever." I went to another bag. And then there was loads of stuff in there. So we was going through the bag. And then suddenly this guy, who was rude to he us, he's, he's like, oh, well, you, you're not going to share. You know, well, you didn't just share that bag over there. Well, so. we didn't even say we weren't. We're just looking for it. And he goes, well, you're bloody rude, aren't you? Where's your manners? And we went, sorry, what? He was like, I want to look through this stuff. Well, we were just doing exactly the same of what he was doing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you were both there at the beginning looking through the bag. And then he picks it up and turns it away from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. So, you, you know. What a weirdo. So we just played by his rules. And then he was like snatching stuff out of my hand. Anyway, we got a good lot anyway. You probably would have seen the GoPro footage. What was going on. So that that was what was going on. If you didn't, you know, kind of get the gist. We ended up spending 60 quid on 20 shirts and a few scarves. And then we, I went back for a little bit more as well. So probably the guy probably got about 75 quid off me. So it worked out like three quid a shirt, maybe a little bit less. So I'll just go through them anyway. So we've got this Arsenal score draw shirt with number seven on the back. That's a vintage one, isn't it? No, so score draw is like remakes. Okay. So they like remake. But it is, it is meant to be like vintage. Invictus Games jacket. Ooh. United Kingdom from 2017 in Toronto. Pretty cool. Little Arsenal kids one <laughs> with a uh, Petter Jack on the back. So that's nice just a one. little one, but um, just because it's got a name on it, I thought, yeah, I'd pick that up. But only, I think it was about two. The kids ones are two quid, so. But all the resellers were just swarming this car. So me and John were like working as a team. Yeah, and was, I found I was picking up mums and dumping in front of them. Yeah, we was just trying to, we were just trying to get our worth, weren't we? Mm -hmm. You got to back yourself. Newcastle shirt with Wonga, the infamous Wonga on the front. England shirt, so these will be kept back for the Euros. That's in pretty good condition. That is a 48, so like a double XL, something like that. 
Charlotte found this one. This is a Man United jumper, as you can see there. I'm not sure if it's like a remake or this is like an original one from the 80s or 90s. You'll have to let me know. I will do some more research as well. But um, it seems like a pretty cool kind of spell out one. Can we get like a screenshot of John with the United against him? No. <laughs> Please, no. Want to try this one on? No. Got a couple of scarves, so that's the United one there. Pretty cool. That is a Colo Colo one, which I think is like Argentinian team. It's a little bit stuck together, the uh, the old thing in the middle. But, be able to iron that out. There's a little mark on the bottom, tiny little black one. But this is pretty cool. It looks to be like an early 2000s Colo Colo t-shirt. Bit of me, that. This is worth decent money. The sponsor's coming off a little bit. Obviously, they just have to state that in the listing. But overall, pretty decent, Nick. Like, no mad kind of marks on it or anything. Seems to be about an XL. You looked a bit happier that United one, then. Shut up. So it's good money. Hmm. Arsenal scarf. Arsenal. A major round, you can have it for £40. Yeah, I actually said I'd send them a few bits over. That's an England one again. That's a little kiddie one. But um, same again. They'll be saved for the Euros. Got a little bit of an England collection going on there. Hmm. Probably got like 10, 12 shirts. Got this long sleeve Aston Villa one. Macron with the Premier League badges on. All official and stuff. It's got a random name on the back though. Random name. Chinaski. It's got Chinaski on the back. And I searched it. I don't think Chinaski was a player. So that, this might be just someone's random name. Anyway. Personalised one maybe. Decent. Decent little long sleeve. You know, long sleeves always sell good. So, happy with that one. Mm -hmm. Remember England one there. Same again. I think this one's the same. This is a Liverpool one. And this one's got Fusco on the back. Not sure. All your favourite teams, lucky boy. No City shirts, unfortunately. <laughs> Another Wonga Newcastle one. It's like a grey away shirt. Newcastle. Little Mercedes McLaren one from like 2008. Pretty cool, might be a keeper that, see how it fits on me. Because it's in pretty good condition, that one. Mm -hmm. Birmingham City sweat top. Kind of like a, a large, weird training jumper thing you may Bob. It's nice. I do like this one, it's got the Nike tick in the middle. So it's a bit of me, this. It's an England, Nike England one. Mm. Gonna whack it on. There you look like go. a private school boarding boy. <laughs> Have your little floppy. <laughs> Hello, I'm just part of the local rugby team. Hello, my name's John Luke. Do your best southern accent. It's just gone to watch the rugby with the boys. <laughs> oh, point of Guinness. <laughs> anyway, I did like this one, Nike tick in the middle. Uh, it's kind of like a proper rugby feel to that. So it's my favourite, I'd say. Are you going to keep it? Nah, maybe, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, not sure on this. I don't, not, it's a fair, it's in nice condition. I think it looks smart on you. We'll see, anyway. We'll see. This one is another long sleeve. Mm. Another long sleeve. It is a Derby County Kappa shirt. And this has got 5-0 on the back. Someone's got 5-0 printed on. So let, someone will have to let me know what is the meaning behind that. Obviously, it's a derby game that I finished 5-0. Must be like a a derby game. Like, like a derby-derby game, you know what I mean? Anyway, 5-0 on the back. Long sleeve, derby shirt. Good condition. No marks on that one. Decent. The thing is, the guy did have some fakes, but John's so hot on football shirts, he could go fake real, fake real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. he, he said he just buys football shirts all the time, so like there was fakes in there and there was some that are real. So. Whereas I was just... And drop. So this is the jacket that I originally grabbed before all hell broke loose. It's a Northern Ireland Umbro one. Pretty cool. How much will you get per shirt? 20 to 30? Some will be like 12 quid, some will be 15, some will be a bit more. It just depends. Like the um, United Vodafone ones will go for like 20 to 30. Yeah, 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 definitely. There's another score draw Arsenal one. It's the FA Cup 1971. Mm -hmm. 11 on the back. I like that yellow blue colourway. It's nice. Yeah, reminds me of Brazil's colour. This one caught my eye. It is a Australia one. See you there. Got the, mm. got the kangaroo with the boxing gloves. Anyway, on the label, it does say America's Cup Defence 1987. So I think it's an old, old one. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. I'm not sure if it's a remake or something, but it's a bit of me. If I do see anything about it, I'll pop it up on the screen now. But um, yeah, caught my eye. The thing with this, like, there weren't many stores today, but you've got a huge quantity of stuff you enjoy. Easy to post, easy to list, yeah. easy for you to find information about. So it's like a really good store bulker. You're trying to get your listings up, aren't you? Yeah. Another little kid one here. It is an Arsenal shirt and it's got Lacazette on the back. Another one for Kerry. Pretty, pretty cute. 
I'm not sure what the age is on these, like six or six seven. Six seven, I would say. Seven to eight, that one, so very nice. This one I was a bit torn whether it's real or not, but I just thought I'd pick it up. It was a kid's one, so it was two quid. It is a Real Madrid one. It's got the Champions League badge there, the LFP badge there, and it's got Ronaldo on the back. So I just thought for two quid, I'm going to pick it up. And the reason why I picked it up is because it did have the Adidas tag in there with like the date with the barcode. So again, uh, yeah, they, there's good fakes. It's small men's, so... For two quid, it's worth it in the heat. Well, worth grabbing, you know what I mean? Worth grabbing. I know they can make good Puma fakes as well, so you, you never know with this Dortmund shirt. Because I've had some fake Puma before and it looks spot on. That's just a Puma training top, I think, because it's got the big Puma on the back. You're proper hot on fakes as well, like you know within like a few seconds of the Yeah, player. you can kind of tell most of the time. Well, this you. one is South Africa rugby. South Africa. South Africa. South. Has anyone seen Avatar 2? Avatar. And when, and when the kids start talking, they're South African, me and John were like, yeah, it's a bit why are they South African? So yeah, that's a pretty cool one. It reminds me of Wild at Heart. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Wild at Heart. If you still need to watch it. If you watch Wild at Heart, guys, let us know, because that's a banger. It we is a banger. The box set. We need to watch yeah, we, it. Yeah, we bought the box set on there, Vinted. That's just a little England one there. Rugby again. Men's small? Yeah, it's like a small men's, yeah. Small men's. With rugby shirts as well. They're always pretty small, because they're all wearing dead tight, don't mm -hmm. they? And then the last one was this Liverpool one here. So, again... New Balance, the fakes can be a bit funky, so we'll just have to check on that one. But um, it's got the 96 on the back there. It's extra large. Boy, is that one. We'll still get good money. Just need to make sure it's legit, but it's actually in like mint condition, that one. Yeah, it is. Right, so that's all the football shirts. How many do you think you got? Uh, there's probably like 25 to 30 shirts in there. After that, I picked up a pair of Levi's, as you can see there. And they've got, I think it's got, it's got an orange tag on it. That's nice. So I... You know, they, they might be fake, who knows. But there is like all proper tags in there, made in UK. It's actually got a charity. Uh, yeah, I saw that when you were buying them. It seems legit though, like proper tags, you know what I mean? Like proper, proper yeah, tags. Yeah, I don't know why you think it was fake. Uh, just because just they were four quid, I thought oh, that's a good deal. If you buy one for £1 last week, or Yeah, fine. I know, I know. But anyway, nice little black pair. Good condition, like really good condition. So, I'll have to see on those. You know when you're talking about your football shirts? Yep. I like, at the beginning I zoned out for like a good minute. <laughs> yeah, you probably, they'll probably be watching your face on camera and you're just yeah, like... Yeah, I literally got that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, well, I'm not interested, it. I just don't know about it, you know. So there's some Northern Ireland tracksuit bottoms, which match the actual tracksuit top. That was off a different seller. I think oh, they, were, no way. they were three quid. Those were three quid. Nice little ones. Um, tailored by Umbra. Old school. <laughs> this jacket was pretty funky. Mm -hmm. This was two quid. It's a Nike, like Mexico weird kind of academy thing going on. Mexico on the back. Mexico. But it's a Nike jacket. Official Nike. It's got all the dry, dry fit, fit stuff yeah. in there. So I thought it was a bit funky. It might be a small men's. I'm not for okay. two quid. Yeah, two I quid. did. They got I got the two of those for a fiver. So the the cool. pants and the jacket. We picked up this trap star T-shirt. I'm gonna keep. And I'll also be wearing five. because I love tigers and leopards. Yeah, yeah. On eBay, you can, on eBay, they're about twenty quid these, so it's just a nice little one mm -hmm. for ourselves, isn't it? Some wear to the label, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not too bad. No. I also picked up a couple of hats, two pounds each. So this one is Kangol, as you can see there. It is forty-five percent angora, nylon, and chlorofiber. But um, yeah, you want to try that one on? Nice. Nice. Okay, thanks, John. I'll be keeping What's that good on you? What's good on you? This one here, Kirari London. That is 100% sheepskin, that one. Very nice. Are you going to try that one on? <laughs> I look like um, one of the London, you know, the guards. Do you? Chin straight when they go chin into their chest and then they push it all the way down their chin. Do you? Do um, At a house clearance, I got a set of single bedding. These were one pound fifty for them both. Couldn't believe that. Um, brand new and sealed. Brand new. So dead easy to list mm -hmm. and sell. And then you got the same seller. You got this Porto bed cover. I'm probably just gonna do that as a big bundle, like full vintage um, Bohemian cottage core, like all those sorts of keywords. Really nice floral pattern. They go like hotcakes. We sell these all the time. 
Yeah, this one was like two. That was 150 or something like that. That's the... So you see these, just grab them. I thought he was going to say four pounds. I was going to pay it and he went, pound 50? I was like, yeah. It's a decent little bit of bed in there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's probably the only decent thing I've got. Some little baskets. I do well on rattan baskets, especially if they're like animal shapes. But I've got that little set. And, and that little set. That's like a crescent. That's brand new with tags, that one. Yeah, made in China, but crescent moon shape, pale rattan. £1.50, £1.50. Oh, you don't got, got ourselves some lashes and then some Olaplex. Mm -hmm. Number three. Gonna sell that one. Yeah, Olaplex is good shampoo conditioner. What is this? Is this a... It's a hair treatment mask. Yeah, not a conditioner. It's a bond builder, mm -hmm. which it says on the back. Yeah. Anyway, if you ever see any Olaplex, it sells Correct. for good money. Yeah. I think it's like 30 quid that bottle. Mm -hmm. I got a few games from various stalls. Pound each. Viet Cong, original Xbox. Oblivion 360. Skate 3, 360, TAC 2, PS2, Halo 5, Xbox One, Oblivion again with the map, Xbox 360, Conflict Global Storm, which is a banging game. I love the Conflict games, that's why I picked that up. And then Anthem as well. So, pound each. Obviously not brilliant sells, but I'll be keeping some, selling some, all that good stuff. Can't go wrong with a pound each, can you? People were being really grabby today, and I don't really like that. I think there's enough for everyone to look at, but people were just being like rude, like bit shoddy. Mad. I was like, oh god, it's a bit mental here today. Um, so I got this fat face dress for a pound, size 14, nice condition, cut and maxi. You got this Primark skirt for yourself? Yeah, it's so just a maxi dress for a pound. Oh, dress. Brand new tags. Well, it looks nice on you, that colour. City color. blue. Maybe it's why I was drawn to it. An East dress here, East sells well. This is a 14, um, yep. Yeah. So with an East dress, prices are north of £15. 15 to £25, depending. But I, mean, I was just trying to do East North. But I'd say the South of £40. Pound. There's actually a brand called South, and it can sell quite well. Yeah, South. What's that, East? You've got North East, you've got West. Why is no one doing... Maybe we should start West. There's got to be something called West. Yeah, we'll Google it. Definitely. Honestly, have you broken any of those bowls? Fireman Sam outfit for Teddy. Yeah. Or is it to sell? It's for Teddy, and then it will be sold. Yeah. What a bang of Fireman Sam. Next up from a house clearance, Pyrex dishes for a pound with the lid. They are official Pyrex. Um, this one's got like a cottage country design. John, please do not do that. Um, I'm not going to break it. Mr. Clutzy. And this one is a green and blue abstract design. No wear to it, really. Pound each. So very happy with that. Get 20 odd quid, 20 to 30 quid back on each of them. Should you get a smaller one as well? So these were a pound each. And that one's a pound. So I said, well, you do that one for 50p because it's half the size. And he went, do I have a mug written on my head? I was like, no, but if you don't ask, you don't get any. He was like, well, it's just insulting. I was like, right. So Negative three pound. vibes there today. Yeah, bad vibes, bad vibes. Bad vibes. They needed to have some incense and... I, it's like out. Ricky's video, like, you're at a car boot, you, you should expect an offer, do you know what I mean? Like, that, just say no, like, you don't need to be a lecturer about it, you know what I mean? And then we got a little ice cool box thing for the, uh, for the summer. So in the summer, we can get our postage done in the morning, get some photos done, then we can kind of list at the beach. And then this will come in handy, have all our bits and bobs in there. We like uh, Sunset Barbecue in summer, don't we? We live five minutes from, like, four different beaches, so... Yeah, well, I've not experienced the summer here yet, but I will be looking forward to all that. Only a little bit last year, but it was early days, wasn't it? Yeah. So exciting times, bring on the sun and the boot sales. So that was See, £5, they resell for 20 on eBay, so I said to John, should we buy more? And he was like, nah, I can't be bothered with that, and I couldn't yeah. be bothered with that. And that is everything we bought at the boot sale today. Not great for me. But, you know, considering it was a slow, rainy day, we still got up, went out, and we got some good bits. Yeah, I'm glad I was there to help you. Yeah. So if you did enjoy today's video, hit like, hit subscribe if you are new. There's plenty more coming, lots of sunshine and lots of nice car boots to come. This yeah, year. it's only just beginning really. Yeah, it's only just starting up. Down in the description, there's links to my Instagram page, Facebook group, eBay store and all that good stuff. So yeah, get involved down there and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.